Hi everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm very happy to have you here guys. So today I want to review a fragrance that I have been testing from Ahmed Al Maghribi which is called Bonbon. Now I don't have a full bottle of, I have a 5ml Deacon but the bottle looks like this and the notes are these ones. So yes, um, uh, this one is from uh, their Occidental line if I'm not mistaken, this is not from their Oriental line. So guys, I have been testing this fragrance for quite a while now. Uh, I have been testing it on my skin, I have been testing it on paper and I have to say that this one works way better on skin than on clothes and on paper. I feel like on skin it develops way more beautifully than on papers. So if you were to look this one up, um, actually I don't think you can find reviews in English for this one, at least not at the moment that I'm filming the video, who knows, maybe in the future you can find more, but um, by the name, which is bonbon, which is supposed to mean something sweet, uh, and by the notes, um, I think this it has listed like uh, peony, chocolate, vanilla, musk, amber, I think it has listed wood and some resins, but I'm not sure what kind of resins. Um, but don't be fooled by the notes, guys, because you might think that this is something very sweet, very dense, very Middle Eastern-like, but this actually smells like a very typical French kind of fragrance, you know? Now, this is not gourmand, guys, or at least it's not gourmand in the sense that you would expect a gourmand fragrance to be. I feel like this is a... Um, this is like a mix, you know? From all the notes listed, I will be very honest, what I do get from this fragrance, guys, is... Uh, a soft peony mixed with musk and I do get chocolate but not your typical dark chocolate that is usually created uh, with the help of chili so it has this like earthy dry dusty cacao like powder or like but uh, I actually get a sweet soft white chocolate mixed with vanilla so this fragrance yes in the opening as well it's it's soft guys but how to say like it's soft in terms of scent because in terms of like um scent structure if i can but um, in terms of scent structure it's actually kind of dense and it's uh, sort of oily it's soft it's round it's a little bit warm but overall guys it makes me think of uh, the word angelic it makes me think of something soft to me it's that sort of feathery fragrance that I was telling you about in other uh, videos of mine. And what I mean by feathery fragrance is um, there are those fragrances that are soft, that are like light, you know, just like a feather, soft, light and feminine like a feather. This to me as well, um, it's bright, guys. If I were to describe you like in terms of uh, color, if this fragrance would have a color, uh, most likely this would be like a off-white, honestly. This is the vibe it gives me. So this one to me, honestly, it's more of a softer fragrance, it's more of a delicate fragrance in terms of scent profile, it's nothing strong, it's nothing this mode, it's nothing, um, it's not a heavy hitter, you know, it's not a challenging fragrance, it is such an easy and safe blind buy, I think you could wear this one all year round, every day, all occasions, um, people around you will not find this fragrance repulsive basically because there is nothing to not like about this fragrance. Now, I have to be very honest, I have never smelled anything like this. Uh, I don't know, I think this is a unique creation from the house. But yes, I do really enjoy it. Uh, like I said, guys, uh, if I were to describe it in the best way possible, you have a soft, delicate touch of peony mixed with a soft sweetness of um, of white chocolate, guys. So it's a little bit milky, a little bit creamy. Um, you get sandalwood here, guys, but you don't get the sandalwood that's dry and dust. You get the creamy sandalwood. So it adds to the overall creaminess of the fragrance. But still, I don't think I would call this one a gourmand. Or at least not like a typical gourmand, you know? Because uh, to me, the mask and the peony keeps, uh, keep the fragrance from going into the gourmand category. Yes, it's warm, it's soft, it's a little bit sweet, a little bit floral. Uh, and I actually really appreciate uh, this uh, white chocolatey touch. White chocolate, but like a milky white chocolate, you know? Now guys, when it comes to the performance, on my skin I get around 4 hours. Uh, on clothes, I have not been testing this one, but I don't know if I can show you. But can you see how oily this one is here? Yeah, I hope you can. 
I am sure guys that you will get much more than I get from this one but keep in mind that I have just been like playing with this one here and there you know I haven't done like a full proper wear test but usually guys if I were to spread this one in my hair it would it would uh, last for days because it has such an oily consistency so it would stick to my hair you know the scent would stick to my hair uh, just the same it goes for clothes if you were to spread this one on your clothes it will last for days you know especially here on my arms um, it lasts like I said four hours sometimes I get more you know but usually around the fourth uh, hour mark I have to go in and sniff it uh, much closer to be able to smell it uh, in terms of projection guys uh, this fragrance to me is uh, more of a intimate fragrance I don't think this is the kind of fragrance that projects a lot I don't think this is the kind of fragrance that fills up a room uh, not because of the quality of the scent the quality of the scent is actually amazing like this is such a beautifully done fragrance it's smooth it doesn't smell synthetic it smells very well blended overall guys i don't know like, like i said i uh, really appreciate ahmed and Agrebi for their fragrances you know with this one no exception but uh, because of the notes that this one has like i said uh peony musk vanilla and white chocolate are the ones that i get the most and you have a creamy sandalwood in the background um this fragrance is kind of bright guys you know this is not a dark uh, heavy complex fragrance this is kind of bright yes it has density to it it is round but it's very bright you know it's like yeah bright that's the word to describe it the best so because of that i don't think this is the kind of fragrance that projects a lot you know so guys i would say that if you are looking for a very feminine fragrance if you are looking to channel your inner angelic side uh, your inner soft, feminine, delicate side, I would say check this one out. Everything from how it smells to the performance, I have nothing to complain. But have realistic expectations of this one, don't expect this one to be a uh, dessert-like fragrance because it's not. Don't expect this one to be a beast mode because it's not. Don't expect this one to be uh, very heavy with a Middle Eastern touch, you know, because you see they are listed wood or something because it doesn't have it um like i said a soft bright delicate fragrance now because of the notes guys and because i associate it with very angelic um with a very angelic woman to me i don't know if men could pull off this kind of fragrance maybe more feminine men but i don't want to uh I don't want to put etiquette, you know, like if you know that if you know that you enjoy these sort of fragrances and you're a man, smell it, sniff it, test it, uh, try it out for sure. Uh, but in my opinion, I would much rather prefer to smell this one on myself or on uh, women than on my partner. You know what I'm saying? So now guys, as this one is staying on my skin, uh, the um, soft, delicate, uh, musky, peony touch it starts to go into the background and uh, you are left with um, you are left with a moderate or balanced sweet milky white chocolate mixed with a little bit of vanilla and like i said in the background you have uh, the mask and the peony uh, my overall thoughts guys i enjoy it personally for me i don't think i would wear it because it is a little bit too light too bright too angelic um compared to the kind of fragrances that i usually reach for i mean i like my fragrances to be a bit more on the heavier side but like i said if you want something soft if you want something angelic if you want to channel your inner angel <laughs> check it out i don't think you will be disappointed if you already have this fragrance in your collection please let me know how do you experience it how would you describe it and if you are overall happy with it or not i think it would help me and also it would help a lot of the people who are interested in trying this fragrance but yes, thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like it because it would help me a lot with the algorithm. Don't forget that you can follow me here on Instagram. Uh, and yes, this is everything I wanted to tell you. Thank you so much for watching and I want to wish you an amazing day wherever you are. Bye guys. Mwah.